Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. So we have another wet and wavy wig from an Amazon seller. Interested in getting all the details and stay tuned. So the wig that I have today comes from Amazon seller Sweet Curly. They sell hair on Amazon and this is a wet and wavy synthetic wig. Now this is a bag that it comes in. It's like the normal sellers. You get all the contact information on the front and the name of the wig on the front. Now in the bag they did give me some um, Huda lashes and they also gave me um, you know your regular wig cap. Now I'm going to go ahead on and do the stocking cap method. I did that off camera. If you're interested in any of that then you know I can leave some links below. So I've already got the stocking cap down and I put it down with some got to be glue spray and I tinted it also so here is the wig and like I said it is a wet and wavy um a wet and wavy wig really really pretty you get two combs on the side you get a comb in the middle you get plenty of part area I think it's a 13 by 6 and you do not get a comb in the back but you do get adjustable straps um, in order to um, make it tighter like I said I love the wig it's really pretty I took it out it doesn't have a smell um, and it looks like the lace on it is really really good as well so I liked it um, I did like that now like the lace is um, kind of ashy like it's a light so what I end up doing is going in with some physicians formula um, powder and I just tinted it I used the same tint that I put on the stocking cap method I went ahead on and put that on the lace I put it all over the lace and I put that on the inside not the outside so after I did that like you see I'm gonna fast forward through and I'm just gonna go ahead on and cut that lace off I'm gonna cut it to the um to the front of my head and just kind of do like I normally do so I'm gonna go through with this one I did cut into the lace just a little bit or into the hairline I guess I should say so I start in the middle when I cut and I do cut in a jagged motion and I cut down each side so what I did was I went in and I just cut it where the baby hairs were they gave you very long baby hairs and I just kind of created my own edges as you can see um, when I got around the ear area it got a little bit um, interesting for me and um, I wanted it to come out past my my natural edges so that's why I went ahead on and um, cut it like this so what I'm going to use to attach it is going to be some got to be glued spray. Um, I just went ahead and sprayed that down um, right at the edge of the stocking cap and used my blow dryer and I just attached it um, as normal. I will tell you that the lace stuck very well. I ended up wearing this wig um, on vacation and I wore it for many, many days. I want to say maybe four days straight. Um, without having to reapply it and that was also with me um, getting wet and everything like that all in all I really um, like the wig I think that the wig is really nice I did get some tangling um, I can tell you that um, obviously it is synthetic and it does um, it, it is got a wave in it so it did get tangled um, I did notice that otherwise I didn't have like too many problems with the wig I think that for the price that is not bad for a uh, um, human hair or a wet and wavy dupe um, especially for vacation it gives you that carefree um, hair and you don't have to do anything with it that's why I wanted it for vacation because it was just easy to work with and um, once I put it down like I said I really didn't have to do much to the wig um, you could wet it and it did kind of behave a little bit and then you could put some mousse on it if you wanted to go in and take care of the flyaways now as you can see I did go in and do baby hairs I did excessive amounts of baby hairs because I wanted to wear it in the flip over method I wanted to be able to flip it from side to side and the best way that I know to do that and not worry about my edges so much if you don't use a hot comb and worry about straightening them is to just put down the baby hairs or put down excessive edges and that way no matter which side I flipped it to um, you know it will look good so that's what I'm gonna do here and then I'm coming back to you at the end to give you my final thoughts on this wig this um and as you can see she is kind of like big hair um it's not as long as the last one i reviewed from amazon i don't think but it still you know is a lot of hair i will tell you that this one seems slightly thinner um or whatever but the curl on this one is really pretty and i didn't put i didn't have to put um any water or anything on i just put a little bit of mousse on there parting area is good the lace was easy to put down ball cap method came out good i think um i think later i'm gonna go in and find where i want my part at excuse me and then i'll pluck pluck it otherwise um I think I may have did a little too many edges. I don't know. When I do the flip over method, I like to do edges because I don't want it to um, come up. I like to have it down so I can just like 
flip like that or flip like this and you just see edges um coming from underneath so that's how i did it um pros and cons cons to this again is a lot of hair um you do have to work with it a little bit the lace that comes on here is a little ashy um you will have to tint it um, the parting area is nice, but if you want it to be seen, you're definitely going to have to mold that parting area. So you're going to have to go in um, with a flat iron or something like that to get it where it could be like flat or whatever. Like I'm, I'm getting ready to go on vacation, so I'm wearing it like this. Um, I'm literally headed like to Puerto Rico. So I might add additional video or something to this before I actually post it um, if I decide to like cut it down or with me wearing it in different styles or something like like that. Pros to this is I love the waves. I think it's perfect vacation hair. I think um it's big hair, I don't care. I love that. Um love the the color on it. I love that, you know, the tips look nice. Now I will say it's kind of choppy, like boom, 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 the layers, but the tips look really good on this. So I really do like that. Um <laughs> as well i'm pretty sure you can put a little heat on if you want to not sure why you would because it's supposed to be like a wet and wavy um dupe or whatever um this should be synthetic hair i'll leave all the information for purchasing it um in the description box below otherwise i think it's a it's a solid unit it's like all the rest of the units on amazon so it's not you know a bad unit i'm not sure the price is probably in the 30 40 dollar range for the amount of hair you get and you get to um glue it down and you know all that kind of thing i think it's okay you know it's okay it gives you the look that you want if you just want something wet and wavy like i said or if you want just some vacation hair or whatever which is what i'm going for and that's why i decided to save this hair and do it you know for this review so if you guys have not yet subscribed to the channel go ahead on and hit the subscription button if you want to be notified every time i upload hit the bell next to that button um otherwise to all my returning subscribers hey girl hey how y'all doing i hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks again to i want to say it is sweet curly thanks to, again for reaching out to me and sending me this unit i think it's really pretty um i'm glad to be able to wear it on vacation hopefully i can um, let you guys know how it does uh, maybe i can put that on my instagram or something like that how it does with me you know traveling and wearing it um on vacation otherwise if you guys decide to share this video or any of my videos on your social media platform instagram twitter or facebook you guys know the deal don't forget to tag me in it my name's the same on all social media accounts and that is beauty by mark thank you guys again for watching bye